Logistic regression is a statistical modelling technique that is used where there's a binary outcome within a data set. So we're looking at data that can be described as pass or fail. Now there are some issues with the generalised linear model, which is the general framework under which logistic regression falls. We end up with a problem of separation, which is to do with being able to use one variable to perfectly predict the outcome of success or failure. David Firth produced a paper in 1993 looking at bias reduction for maximum likelihood estimation and this has been applied to um, generalised linear models but has been highlighted primarily as benefit for small data sets and logistic regression. So we're going to take a look at running logistic regression and bias reduced for logistic regression within R. So to do this we're going to create a couple of dummy data sets first one we've got 12 points with a single explanatory variable x running between 10 and 40 and our pass we would set as say the 1 and fail as 0 for our response. So we see except for at the ends we've got in the middle bit we've got a probability between 0 and 1. So in this case we probably wouldn't expect it to be a problem with the generalised linear model function as is in R. So we run our GLM with our response variable and explanatory variable as we always do when specifying a formula within the various modelling functions in R so GLM for generalised linear model we've got our data equals statement this is telling R which data frame to look for when trying to pick out these columns and family equals binomial this is to let GLM know that we're fitting a model to binomial data so binary outcome and by default it goes for logistic regression but there's also the option to do probit regression within this approach so we save our model to an object so we can do things with with the fitted model so we run the summary function on this model we can see that our estimate and standard error are not too unreasonable for the model fitted to this data so let's look at the bias reduced version which is in the, fun the package BRGLM, bias reduced generalised linear model and the nice thing here is the only change we have to make to our code above is to write BRGLM rather than GLM. So we're getting a slightly different um, slope here for the two, we're getting standard errors that are finite and hence sensible for this data set. So then we might think, well, what do these two models look like? Are we getting something in terms of our curve relating our explanatory variable to the probability of success that's similar for these two, or are we getting something that's a bit different? So what we do here is we're going to create two data frames which are based on setting a range of the x value and then running predictions from this so we get our curve response so that means that it's between 0 and 1 for binomial data we're predicting across a set of x values within the range of our data set so we do this both for GLM and BRGLM so that's the slight difference we've got in our models and then we put them together into single data frame so we can plot this in ggplot2 it's Hadley Wickham's grammar of graphics package so we load that into our session and then run our ggplot function so ggplot a data frame so that's where our data is stored and we're looking for columns x and y to correspond to the x and y axis color equals model allows us to separate out for a separate curve for these two fitting procedures and geom line is saying that we don't want dots we want to join them together to get lines so this is what the model looks like main characteristic we can see we've got a slightly steeper slope for the GLM version than the bias reduced GLM and this is quite a common feature if we fit these two models to the same data set so with our second data set we're going to put in some separations so we've got a perfect um, not passing here and passing there based on our x value so if we then fit our generalized linear model we see we're getting these very large standard errors so this is not a particularly sensible fit to the data so up pops our BRGLM fit through the same thing and here we're getting a more sensible slope and standard error out so we're now getting a model that we probably can have a bit more confidence with 
So the question is, do these two also look different in a similar way to our first data set? So we run the same thing to put the fitted curve for GLM, BRGLM, put them together into a single data frame, and run our ggplot function. So here we can see now the bias reduced version gives us this nice smoothish curve, but we're getting this almost step function for the GLM, which is highlighted by the problems we had with the maximum likelihood estimates and their standard errors.